Money, 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 money. <laughs> money, 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 money. That's a cash transit vehicle. I think it says FedEx. FedEx. I start here. A white car just parked. People inside. Truck. But that money truck seems to be the one that's sticking out to me. Money, 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 money. 777 is what that car, the number plate on that red. I don't know what brand that is. 777. Which is jackpot, which is money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> And I know people do love their money. I'm crossing here on this part of the street because last night I had a dream. That's why I'm starting the video from here. And the dream started with me crossing here where I have just crossed. Jumping over to this side and moving up this stream, this road. These red cars, that's the third one, Kia. Eco Fire, that's the third red car. I had a dream last night. Two dreams. I don't know if they were separate or if it was the same dream, but there was a dream where I was looking at a house it happened to be, okay, now the dream is coming to me. It was my neighbor's house. And there were three red cars parked outside. One with a yellow number plate. A yellow number plate here in South Africa means that the car is brand new. And there was a marriage at my neighbor's house. But... The negotiations were at my house, which was very strange. So I'm just bringing that dream back into remembrance. It might be, it might be, I'm going to jump over. This part wasn't in my dream. But I'm improvising. Because something is not right. Something is not right. All right, so that's a uh, Audi. My brother happens to drive an Audi and he was in my dream as well. I don't know if he represented himself or something else, but he was part of those negotiations. Which does make sense because right now he is in the midst of negotiating for somebody's marriage. IRS! <laughs> so... This car says IRS. If I'm correct, IRS in the States is a revenue service that catches people when they don't give the government their money. <laughs> so, we started off with money and now we are at IRS which informs me that there is trouble with money. There is troubled monies. Troubled monies. Before I got to where I am now, 
I picked up an envelope, which again I had a dream last night about an envelope. That's why I know I'm where I need to be. It's a yellow taxi here, or yellow cab, and a white Mercedes, and I don't think there's grid iron. an elephant on it. I don't know what those symbolize but they are there. So there was another part of the dream with a different neighbor this time and let me decide what to do. I'm gonna have to jump. This time I was at my neighbor's house crossroads. And I was reminding him of an envelope that I gave him, which I needed to get back. And he gave me an envelope in return. But it had some writings on the envelope. Address, there was an email address. I couldn't pick up what it was, but what I got the sense of afterwards was that my neighbor is doing something that he shouldn't be doing so money 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 there's a car that just parked behind me now and i was turning because i saw this so if you remember the last time i picked this up we're in a state of warfare I'm gonna put this down. I don't have space to carry it. But it does tell me that we're in a state of warfare now. So let the battle begin. Zaredos. This is also a part of my dream which now I will just call it a vision because last time last night or last time I saw that which was last night there's two more on the road which means two swords which means we are really in for in for in, in for in for in for a fight in for a fight in for a, I'm stuttering let me just move to the side a bit I am stuttering Stuttering, stuttering, stuttering. Just need to figure out why. Zare. The Lord says, Command your troops. Command. Command your troops. Command your troops. So let me just gather some spirits, some beasts, some angels. Let me just gather. Sarea, let us go. Let us go. Was close. Again, as a reminder, <laughs> you don't have to do what I do for God's Spirit to move around you the way it does for me. If God calls you into it, I would encourage you to do it. Because that's how I learned. But if you're not called into this kind of this kind of interaction with the spirit, if not if that's not what you're called into, 
713 free state which means things are beginning to speed up so i need to move a little bit faster there's a sign I don't know if you can read that, but that sign says debt collection. Debt collection. So it looks like money. Money is coming up a lot in the spirit. That says debt collection. The car said IRS. And we started with the cash transit vehicle and we know with track cash transit that money is not yours somebody's collecting it to take somewhere else to a reserve of sorts so if you are found to be in possession of that money it means it's stolen money stolen money things are getting heavy here Stolen money, and I'm seeing this X5 that's just passed now. Stolen money. Stolen money. Oh. <clears throat> Not sure what's going on. Let me just step aside for a moment. Again, I don't know if I'll release this video or not. This is that moment in time where I have to decide. It's heavy. My spirit is very heavy. And... Yeah, I don't know how to describe this. Sarah, anyway, so my neighbor, give me an envelope. And whilst I was coming down here, I picked up an envelope. This envelope that I picked up. It was a different one in my dream, but nevertheless, it's the same spirit. And this is Gugu, the thousand rand, Tejo, the thousand rand, and something about a stock fell. A stock fell is just a collection. People coming together, collecting money, which they use as a group. just a way of collecting money so I picked it up which again the envelope has to do with money so there seems to be a lot of that there seems to be a lot of that money 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 but so far like this place these are all assets that have value and are worth something. This is all money. However, if you dig deeper into this place, and I won't go too far into this road, but this place, criminals beware. It's very strange that they are parked right next to the sign. Criminals beware, by the time you read this, you're on record. So I think there's cameras here somewhere, but anyway. So, these guys and these guys, because these guys are criminals. There's one there. These are criminals, and yet they are next to a sign that says, Criminals beware. It's laundering, if you wish to get deeper into it. Same as that place there, where these vehicles are passed. That, that's a makeshift car dealership. And just behind it is a salon and those guys deal with drugs so this whole place is dirty money this is money laundering that is money laundering and there's also the car place something to do with trafficking and back there there's a security guard there you probably won't see him moving towards me but it's a hair salon and those guys virgin something i think i might have spoken about it before sometime but those guys do 
what's the word, drugs, transportation of drugs and all of that. So all of this is dirty money. Dirty money. I was watching a movie yesterday. It's called Corrupted. I do watch movies in the world. They are telling you about things that are happening. So it was called Corrupted, which spoke about the police officers who themselves were the actual gangsters or working with gangsters. They were the ones who were trafficking money. They were the ones committing robberies, but obviously they have a badge, which means they are above the law. So the question is, who do you go to when the people who are meant to be protecting you are the ones committing the crimes. And I say that to say this, the law of the land, if you will, is limited. There are a lot of people, there are more people that are get out. There's a voice here somewhere. There are more people who get away with crimes than they are those I'm moving backwards now. I'm walking backwards. I said a prayer here before. I don't know if you watched it. But there's a demon at Little Merlin there. In a red car and a red combi or minibus have just passed. So there's a demon there. And there's one at Decathlon there. Those places are very demonic. Meaning that if you buy anything from those shops, one is a hardware shop, the other one is a, is a, what is the other one? Sorry, I can't speak now, my voice is being chill. Okay, let me chill. I think my spirit is moving a bit too quickly. The truck says chill. So I'm going to pause, I'm going to relax. I'm going to catch my breath. But anyway, so the movie was about dirty money, dirty cops, the dirty system, politicians, people in high places, all involved in corruption. Even in my country now, South Africa, our country, our president has just been caught doing something that he should not be doing. And they are suspecting him. The envelope has not dropped, so I'm going to leave it there. So let me leave that word there as well, as the envelope has dropped. My spirit is shaking, so my spirit is doing this. This is how I am moving right now, so my spirit is shifting and shaking. I don't know why yet, but... We are, and something is pulling me now. Something is not right about that truck. And I'm walking backwards again. And this is going a bit quieter now. My goodness, it's been loud up until now. I couldn't hear myself think or speak. It gets a bit quieter, but it's quiet on the outside, but it's loud on the inside, so there are spirits, spirits that are talking, 33, two orange cars, so I'm just going to pause for a moment, not relax, Woo. I haven't even started, it's only 19 minutes into the <laughs> No, I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> it's less than 20 minutes into this video and it's already this intense. <laughs> oh my, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I don't know what it is I'm looking at, but I know there's a spirit here. I 
I don't think I've encountered a spirit like that before. So, because I don't know what it is or how it's going to interact with me, I'm just going to move away from it quickly. But there is a spirit there. There are demons here behind this plants, behind this wall. You can see the red berries. So there's definitely something there. There's a big red truck that's just passed and there's a guy on a bicycle. There's a dog barking now behind here. Summer day. Terna Fernando. But I'm not here to deal with them. But they are spirits there. And they are quite heavy. I'm just looking in this direction. Okay, let me show it to you. There's a new place here. I just saw that red BMW pass, so it's for best I do show you. There is a new place here. This shopping center has just recently been built. It was opened at the end of last month, June. And there is a shop there that says Barber Shop. And although, let me just see if you can see, I know the camera is not all that good, but that barber shop, although it's just recently been built there, it is also a cover. Let me just watch these people. Because the people here are moving in very, in very strange patterns. So they're going to Checkers there. The Checkers is a retail, or not retail, is a food shop. So you get your food. And that's where most people are congregated. I also had a vision about this place. I was supposed to come and visit here. So, so far, all this up until now is one vision. I don't know, there's something in my spirit that's not right. Or maybe let me speak about that wedding. So that wedding, in my dream, was someone, and I don't know if that has something to do with it, which did make me angry. Maybe let me deal with my anger. It is someone that I thought I would. This is a church. We've spoken about it before. It's not a church, but it is a church. It's a playground of demons. Woo! And now they're coming over me. So let me move away. It's demonic. And I know a friend's sister comes to this church and I hope I get him to watch this video. This church is demonic. There is nothing but demons here. Demons come to congregate here and after there's birds Speaking of congregates, there's birds here in the air that are just flying around. In the distance, there's a man on the roof, which I find quite strange. The white roof and this white truck coming by, which means there's something on top. There's something on top of this truck. There is a spirit above it, but I can't really look at it, but it looks like it's appearing at the same time as this demonic church. There's a man in red, just ahead. Sarandro. But anyway, so let's go back to this demonic church. So, there's a Bible. The Bible that is falling apart is really belong to someone who isn't. That's a great. And that's what these churches do. They, what is the word? They advertise themselves. They market themselves well to make it look as if, as if everything is all right. And that's the place that you should be. But if you're finding yourself in a place like this, it means your discernment is quite low. I have visited it before. I have been inside. I did not stay for long. 
I was supposed to catch a lift with someone from there, but I left before the church service even ended because I didn't want any part of it. Now, if your discernment is higher than mine, and you can tell me that, no, that is a place where God is, that's great. But you should get the sense or knowledge by now that my discernment is quite high. I'm not saying that I get it right all the time, but I will get it right more times than most of you. That is not bragging, that's just how it is. That's how God has trained me. So when I accuse your pastors, your churches, your ministries, or even people here on YouTube of conspiring with demons, or working with spirits of darkness, you should listen. Why? Because in that area I probably know better than you. That is why you need to learn from me, so that you can know better. Again, in that area. I'm not perfect in every area, but when it comes to discernment, when it comes to demons, like my three friends here, when it comes to spirits, I am well versed and God has confirmed it. So this place again, now this is a big brand, this is BMW. So for me to accuse them of money laundering and as a cover would seem far-fetched because they are a reputable company and there's a BMW passing now. Even Ford. The Spirit is even mentioning now Ford, one of the oldest companies on earth. Even that is a cover. Even that is a cover, but like the churches, they have marketed themselves well to be reputable vehicles. But in the background, the people that created these brands and what they do with their money is deplorable. They are committing atrocities and major atrocities at that. But again, you won't hear that in the news because it's just BMW or it's just Ford. But do trust me when I say many of these big brands, many of these large corporates, they are all just hiding. Hiding in plain sight. They are doing shady, dark business deals behind closed doors. But again, because we're not privy to it, we just take what they present to us as truths. Haval. Haval, Haval, Haval. There's a story about Haval that one of my prophets was telling me. Haval. He says, and I think I might quote it afterwards in the descriptions. That there was an incident at Haval where somebody was What's the word? They were shaking. They were convulsing. They were, they were, their body was doing this. And somebody came to administer prayer to this person once they were on the ground and they were in this episode of theirs. And apparently the boss went into the office and asked, well, first they asked the person, what is it that they're doing because they were praying? And they said, don't do that. We don't do that here. So apparently the boss goes, this is now Havel was speaking about. The boss goes into the office. He does some kind of a ritual. And uh, the person stops shaking. I know you might not hear this very well, but maybe you're not supposed to hear it. So the person stops shaking. And the boss then goes to explain to say, we don't do that here. We are Satanists. 
And that's what the girl was responding to. Her spirit was responding to the spirits in that place, which again are demonic. Now again, you won't hear these stories. You won't hear these stories out in the news or out in the public. But if you dig deeper, you'll find that they are there. There's another bicycle. I have my friends taking nice highway photos. <laughs> ah, you gotta love people. You gotta love people. 13. Woo. 14, 15, 16, 17. Scary. These cars are so close. These cars are so close. All righty. Red car. Girl in a red jersey, another red car, I'm going down, down the hill, Woo! oh my, we're going to go down and then we're going to go up, all of these things are still part of the vision I had, so we are still, hold up, we are still where we need to be. There's a skull here. There's a path here. This is a part of the river I haven't been to before. So let's find out. Am I still recording? I am. We are 30 minutes in. All right, so what do we have here? What do we have here? part of a river. I'm just gonna go a little bit further in. Oh, glory. Oh, woo! It's a bit of an echo. Right now, I am at the river's edge. There's a bit of a waterfall ahead of me. This is, well, I'm in darkness, so you can't see anything. But maybe you can see that side, yeah. The light at the end of the tunnel, you can see that. My spirit is moving quick right now, so I cannot. Yeah, Saram Radia. Ekar Menandre Braar. Right now, we are beneath the water carriageway that we just went past. So there are cars moving above us. So right now we are beneath some moving vehicles. Let me come out of the darkness. Woo! Emerging out of the darkness back into the light. Let me try not to fall. But this is a river. As you can see, this side is blocked. And therefore you have to flow towards the skull. Most hated, it says and written there. I'm sure there's a whoa, I just tripped. I'm sure there's a metaphor there somewhere. I don't know why I just tripped, but I tripped and I looked up. So there is a spirit here. Somewhere here where this block. So just as in the physical something is blocking here. There's a spirit here as well, and two gentlemen are moving past it now. They can't see me yet. But there is a spirit here. There is a spirit here. 
and there's a moon that's above me and I can get the sense that something is... Okay, let me pause here. This is not the place I was thinking I'd be coming to, but it looks like this is where I need to be. This is what I tripped on. Let me move this one aside. I tripped on this. Whoa! Struggling. So something is, something is, something is, something is, something is, something is, something is definitely here. I am echoing in my spirit. So something is not right. Just as there is a blockage here, there is a spirit here. There is a spirit here. And I'm getting a bit dizzy now. I'm actually getting a lot dizzy. Oh. And there's something in the sky. So there's a plane that's flying above me now. There's a truck that's just gone past. And the moon again, so there's something it's either quite large or it's in the air or it's just everywhere here. I'm not sure what I'm not sure what it is, but there is definitely something here. Something quite dangerous. As the sky would depict. So I'm just waiting. Again, when I was walking towards this, I didn't see anything. It's only when I was trying to come out. And maybe there's something to do with this. This. I don't know, but something. But something. I wonder if I should try to get... Try to get... The man that's just passed is carrying something on his head. <laughs> These moving waters are putting me in a bit of a trance though, I must say. The wind is starting to pick up now. Which means whatever is here is now here in physical form. Because the wind is starting to pick up. Huh. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't know, but there is something. Just don't know what it is. There's a truck. So these vehicles are moving above this bridge, causing vibrations. So what might the vibrations do? Let me try to work things out here. What might the vibrations be doing? Earth vibrations, earthquake, earthquake, volcanoes, volcanoes, fire, fire from the sky, Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah, destruction, volcano eruptions. So I'm assuming. And I'm seeing Russia in this. Okay, I'm seeing Putin now actually. Russia. So let me undress this man in the spirit quickly. Let me see what he's up to. I feel like I'm drunk. I feel like I am drunk. So Russia, Putin, President, spirit, death, volcano, destruction. Medieval times, blood, sacrifices. So sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Six children. Six children around in a circle. A semicircle. There is a semicircle in the sky, which is the crescent moon. 
There's people in the distance wearing red, so there's blood, blood on the move, blood, there's a red car in the distance, so blood, sacrifice, blood, sacrifice, there's gowns. Uh, president, sacrifice, sacrifice, blood, president, sacrifice, sacrifice, blood, president. I think they're trying to assassinate the Ukrainian president, I assume. They're trying. I don't think they will succeed, but they will try. And he will survive. Then you'll be made into a hero. But something about that attempt, maybe it's where he's going to be, is going to draw the, what do you call those United Forces, the United Nations. They're going to try and draw the United Nations or those allies into the war but I doubt it's going to be enough gas, mustard gas I don't know but it's something to do with this war all I can see now is the assass assassination attempt the assassination attempt of the Ukrainian president and something else. I don't know what else. Um, Sig organics or bodies deco de decomposing bodies. Decomposing bodies. Bodies decomposing. I feel like I might need to cross this river, but I don't see a way through. So I might have to build a bridge here. Or I can go there and try to jump. Or I can go back up and come down on that side. But I won't do any of that. I'm going to pick up my water. And we're going to have a moose. <laughs> Just walk away. I don't know what's going on there. I have no idea. What it has to do with dead bodies and the war and sacrifices. And I don't know what these guys are trying to... But if I can read these two ports here, these two metal... objects sticking out the ground, I know they're trying to open up the portal. Anytime there's blood, anytime there's sacrifices, I know that they're trying to open something up in the spirit. That's why the ceremony, the six dead children, the crescent moon, and Putin wearing that robe, black and yellow, orange, something. And some kind of a ceremony. So they're trying to open up something in the spirit. Which means I might need to go back in the spirit to the First World War to try and figure out what it is. And there's something about that yellow car again. Mustard gas. Mustard gas. Gas, gas, gas. There is something about gas. Poison gas. Now I know poison gas the Germans used to kill millions of Jews. Which again was a sacrifice. Okay, in that instance it was sacrifices but against God. Because those were his children. And whether they were disobedient or not, when you kill or sacrifice or burn or do any of those things to a child of God, you will get God's attention. So I know that's what the First World War was about, was against God, as would be any other war that would follow. So the question is, what are they trying to do? I'm at a Bava Valley, there's a man in the distance now, in the red. I don't know where he's going, but he's moving. Mm 
Let's we'll see where this part goes. Okay, looks like it's trying to come out. But this this reminds me of Putin. So if I can get him or get myself into his spirit, moving through the valley of the shadow of death, and another man coming behind him, so they're trying to op okay. This this all has to do with the Antichrist at the end of the day. So all these blood sacrifices, all these wars, they're trying to 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 build up to because this guy in the in the in the back. So the guy in the front has got a red shirt. And the guy in the back has got a red pants, so they're the combined, they're actually one spirit, but separated. Which one of them speaks to Russia's president and the other one speaks to Putin. Well, those are the same person. One speaks to Biden, rather. So both of them are just as the First World War was. And God did give me a revelation about the First World War that without America being involved in it, there really wasn't much of a war. So America had to get pulled in, so that's why they, they did what they did, Pearl Harbor, so on and so forth, got them into the war, and then it was a world war, and then things really did get bad. So. All of these things are pre-planned, but again, it's all under our guys to get those sacrifices, which means they're trying to build up to something. They're trying to build up to something, which means they're trying to open up gateways. Just like these little mole hills here, they are gateways into the ground. Gateways into the ground, so there's something in the ground, the decomposing bodies, there's something in the ground that they're trying to raise up. I'm hearing zombies. Zombies. So this blood is trying to open up gateways. Semara, you know this, this place where I am now is actually a place I've been trying to get to for a while just to stand here, just to get here, to stand here. I walk past here, but I never actually, I've never had a reason to stay. But today it looks like I might be just here, just moving around. <laughs> so I find myself here again. So there's, there's yellow in the distance there. I don't know if you can see it. The last time I spoke about yellow, I spoke about diseases, I spoke about cancers. We've just come out of COVID and now we are entering into chicken, what? Monkeypox. <laughs> Monkeypox. Apparently that's the next disease that's making its rounds on the earth. So from disease to disease. So there's, there's something that these people do with these decomposing bodies these pile-ups it looks like they use them to open up gateways obviously i know it's gateways to the devil obviously i know it's gateways to hell but what what exactly i mean that's nothing new the devil is not new hell is not new spirits are not new so what what are they trying to do that is different but failing I must say though, these guys are failing at whatever it is that they're attempting, but what is it that they're trying to do is my question. I didn't prepare for this word. I didn't even think I'll be speaking on this. Another topic I, yellow and red, decomposing bodies, mustard gas, sacrifice of masses, multiple deaths, multiple deaths, dominoes, dominoes. Yeah, Rasim Prade. I think they're trying to Masar de Var de Fantro. But you know, what I'm getting now in the spirit, more than them actually killing people, is getting people to kill themselves. I don't know why there is more value. There's a car, a truck that's just gone value. I don't know why there's more value in people actually committing suicide than in them actually going out and killing them in masses. 
because I know with the war, I know with the COVID, I know with all of these stresses, the inflation going up, that suicides have gone up or tend to go up. So people are killing themselves. And I think that is actually the... So this is a very graphic discussion. You don't have to... You don't have to listen any further if it makes you uncomfortable, but I think that's the direction I'm going into. They're trying to get people to kill themselves. Self-sacrifices. There seems to be more power in that when someone sacrifices themselves. You know, that's what Jesus did. He sacrificed himself for the greater good of man. And we know how God moved on the world's behalf when he did that. So this self-sacrifice thing, even though there is no intent to most of them, but it feels like or it seems like there's power in that. So getting more people to be in a place of stress, to a place where they kill themselves, because we know how much God values life. Okay, I can't move in this direction. We know how much God values life. For, so for someone to get to a place where they kill themselves, that, I believe, is the ultimate place where the devil wants us to get to. Where we are so hopeless, so much in despair, in such dire stress, dire strains, that we don't feel like this world or this life is worth living. And that is a slap in the face of God who has created you and you find it within yourself a means to get rid of yourself, to die at your own hands because you don't think that this world is worth staying. I think that that, that is the, the, the ripple effect that they're trying to get to. And I know in the past as well, there's another plane flying past me now, in the past as well with with stocks the stock market crashes i think the happened once happened in 2008 if i'm not mistaken the great depression that i think i, I believe happened around about 19 was it 1928 or was it 1938 i don't know but it's around about the time of the great war when the great depression happened the People get frustrated, people get angry worldwide and everybody worldwide feels the effects of it. That's what yellow, 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 that's what being in a, that's what being in a global economy does. Whatever happens in Russia affects everybody else. So this thing, so even though we are not at war physically, we are at war spiritually within ourselves, within our countries, within our nations because we start to, or we begin to implode. So the ripple effect, so the war itself, even though it's just one nation so far, or two nations, is having a ripple effect on all nations all around the world. And that puts people in, a, in, a, in stress and panic mode, and they begin to act or respond irresponsibly, putting themselves in danger and putting others at risk as well. So I think that's what's happening, or that's what they want. The same with the COVID situation where the world was in panic. And again, because markets shut down, because people were losing money, going back to the money question again, people kill themselves. So let me, I'm almost an hour into this video, let me then conclude with this. I don't know what this had to do with the cave or anything of that sort, but <laughs> this is what we get to. Keep your head above waters. It's something that I advise somebody. There's an ambulance that's just passing now. Keep yourself in good health. Don't stress or don't overstress. You might stress a little bit, but don't overstress. Don't, don't get to a place where you're hopeless, feeling as if the world is coming to an end. The world is not coming to an end. And I think that's actually what's happened in previous installments of wars and depressions is that people felt because the Bible does say the world is going to come to an end at some point or another. So people felt like the world was coming to an end and when people start to think that the world is coming to an end, they start to act irrationally and irresponsibly. And even their spiritual, even their spiritual 
Sarando, Karte Bar. There's a man walking behind me and he's moving with some strange spirit. And there's a BMW that's just went past there. And again, as I did say, that car is a trap. It's a death trap, really. It's a spirit. It is a spirit. You know the word accidents? Speaking about spirits. A lot of people die in car accidents. And I've always spoken to say that there is no such thing as an accident. But cars, just in general, just like guns, because we know that in the States that the majority of deaths or gun-related deaths are actually suicides. So coming back again to suicide. But likewise with that is cars. A lot of people commit suicide in their cars. We know that with the with the in with the garage and the so again this topic is a bit morbid but forgive me uh but with people in cars and the gas i mean back coming to back to gas again where the gas themselves the carbon dioxide kills them in their cars there's the spirit pulling me now um now in the spirit i think let me finish this video and then i can jump in the next because now i'm in a spirit there's a spirit here so cars again a huge cause of deaths around the world but again it's because they are spirits cars are spirits that's why so many people die in cars more than anything else more than more than a lot of things car accidents people die a lot in cars so do understand that it is a spirit and on this earth or spiritual, there's no such thing as an accident. So if you're getting into an accident and somebody dies, it's a spirit. And cars do tend to be a lot of those so-called accidents that happen worldwide. So just understand that that is spiritual. And BMW and Ford, those are very big spirits. And I'm sure that most of the accidents, if we can find the kind of cars that are involved in it, you'll probably find that they are there. At the top of the pile but again i don't know what the stats are around that but just do note that they are spirits uh so again coming back to suicide coming back to suicide i assume there's something me speaking about suicide now that there's something that's about to happen that will bring people in a place of panic so i just need this video to be out there to say if that thing happens or when that thing happens be steadfast just fast if you need to fast, fast and pray and just remain in the spirit. Don't panic. Don't. And I'm not trying to put you in a place of panic now just to listen to this video. But between now and then or even up until now and going forward, you should be in a place where you keep yourself in good standing spiritually and mentally. It is something that you should be doing already anyway. But again, if something does that does happen, you just need to remain steadfast and just continue to pray. Continue to pray and, and I'm hearing fast again, fast if you need to fast, but just be in the spirit because that's where your safety will be and that's where your peace will be. All right, let me finish off this video. Let me start another one because I can sense there are spirits moving around me here, so I might need to pray. So the ripple effects of the war, the ripple effects of the diseases that are happening on this earth, the ripple effects of fear, whatever it is that is affecting you, get above it. Get above it. Get above it. Pray fast if you have to, but just be in a place of peace. Be in a state of peace. Be in a state of peace. Be in a state of peace. Be blessed.